Anyone with an appreciation for food knows that a good, made-from-scratch meal can turn your day around. I mean, look at these meals. They look amazing, right? Well, this is the type of food restaurants are dishing up for people in Southern Oregon who lost their homes due to fire. I spoke to a Portland restaurant owner who helped bring the idea to Southern Oregon. I live in Portland and I own a food truck here called Castrami Zombie. It's in Milwaukee. And then I own a sandwich shop on East Burnside called Sandwich. Melissa McMillan also owns a restaurant in Ashland. She remembers watching video of other businesses and restaurants in the area go up in flames. There it is on 99 New Sammy's. Boom, gone. Hours later, she got a call from a friend in Ashland trying to figure out how to help. And I was like, well, you know, we're doing a program up here uh, currently through COVID uh, in Multnomah County that I think might be pretty successful down there. Through the program, her restaurant gets money from the county to make food for people in need. That idea laid the general groundwork for Rogue Food Unites. On a good day, we're feeding over 2,500 people a day. So here's how it works for Rogue Food Unites. First, people make donations on the website. Then that money goes straight to restaurants, many of which are already struggling because of the pandemic. Workers then get paid to make meals for people. All sorts of things like chicken curry salad. All of it handed out free by a number of restaurants, including Lark's Restaurant at the Ashland Springs Hotel. It's, it's a good feeling. It kind of brings the restaurant back to life. Rogue Food Unites, helping local restaurants help local people. We have an opportunity right now to raise money to not only keep people employed, but more importantly, feeding people who had a disaster. Christine Pitawanich, KGW News.